Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is going to be about how to put a watermark on your work. And not only how to put the watermark on there, but make it be effective when you export that file and send it to a customer. Now, I personally have never used a watermark because I don't really care. Um, I'm fortunate enough not to have a, I do have a laser business. But I don't have to make a living at it. And I don't have a storefront, and uh, I'm a hobbyist. So, and I and I enjoy sharing what I've drawn uh, with anybody. And I I think I've shared everything that anybody's ever asked me for. But I totally understand people wanting because I've talked to some people off Facebook and in Las Vegas that you know uh, somebody started doing their job, you know, and they. They drew it, and then they ended up getting a laser, or they took it to another laser house. So I, I get it, and I've, I've used some watermark products before, or at least looked at them. But if you wanted to send this Indian to a, and I did not draw it, it's a uh, one I've used before in a clip art. I have cleaned him up, but just type out what you want to put property of Joe Blow. So I've typed out my little company's name. I'm going to rotate it to put it pretty much across his face, or across the drawing. But then I'm going to go to the transparency tool, which is in the blend docker normally. It's Well, it's always there, but I just use the transparency tool, so it's right there. And you go, nothing's really happened, but you don't have to do anything. Just go up here and go uniform, and then make this slider um, go uphill. It'll actually make it lighter with a lesser amount of number. So this way, the customer could still see the Indian headdress. But nobody can use this file because this is going to uh, impede on them or hurt them. So they can't clean it up. Now, but what I do know about this, if you take this and export it, and then you send it to a customer and they import it as test, I just named it test. They can take this, and if they have a program like Corel Draw, they can just take the Indian away, and it's you know. And, and I've, I've I looked at a few videos today, and some people group stuff together. Well, that doesn't help. What you have to do to make this work to export it is grab the whole thing and convert it to a bitmap. Color doesn't matter. You want a transparent background, put OK. Now this whole thing is a bitmap. Then you can export it. And we're just going to do this export um, test. Let's make it five just so we'll know. And we've exported that, and we're going to send that to the customer. Now I have Corel Draw, but I want to import this now. Test five, it's right there. You've sent this to the customer. They look at it. They can't do anything with it. They can't break it apart. Uh, this is, you know, you've seen enough clip art on the internet where you just can't do anything with it because it's got that watermark. Well, that's how they've done it. They've converted it to a bitmap. And I don't care what you do, that bitmap is there. Can't ungroup it. So that's what you need to do before you send it as a PDF. Convert it to a bitmap. Anyway, I hope that it helped them out a little bit. And thank you for watching.